He's taking it hard. Jack Man. two cards in your wallet. Are you Lee Harvey Oswald or A.J. Heidel? Why don't you find out? Captain Britz, we've gone over the employee list of names and there's one man not accounted for. He's Lee Harvey Oswald. Where does he live? His address is listed in Irving. Thank you, Mr. Truly. Get some men out to this house and put out an APB on this Oswald. Get a full description for Mr. Truly. Right. Yeah, the exact That's spelling of that? Lee Harvey Oswald. It's O-S-W-A-L-D. Bill. I want you to get a warrant and go to this address in Irving and pick up a fella named Lee Harvey Oswald. Excuse me, Captain. Why do you want Oswald? He's employed down at the book depository and he wasn't present at the roll call for employees. We can save you a trip, Captain Chris. Lee Harvey Oswald. You've given your home address as Irving, but you keep a room here in Dallas on Beckley? That's right. My wife and children live there, my friends. Uh, I go there on the weekends. How long have you been working at the school book depository? Oh, a little more than a month. I took the job in the middle of October. What floor do you work on? Uh, the second, mostly. But sometimes I have to fill orders on the other floors. What floor were you on when the president was shot? I was on the first floor eating my lunch. And what floor were you on when the police officer stopped you right after the shooting? On the second floor, in the lunchroom. I'd gone up to get a Coke. Why did you leave the building after that? Well, with so much excitement going on and all the confusion, I didn't think there'd be any more work for the rest of the day. Where'd you go when you left work? Went to my rooming house, changed my clothes, got my pistol, and then I went to a movie. Why do you carry a pistol? Well, you know how boys are when they have a gun. They just carry it. You were in the Marines, weren't you? Yes, I was. You ever win any medals for marksmanship? Just the usual. You own a rifle? No. Now, would you ask her to show us the rifle that she says her husband owns? Could you be Tovka, Marina? Tom, on the the over the eye. She says he keeps it in that rolled up blanket. See if it's there, Jace.
Phyllis. Jack, what are you doing here? I was just around. I want to make sure you are right. I mean, with the assassination. Well, sit down. Well, I guess we're all pretty upset and uneasy, but uh, I'm holding up okay. How about you? I still can't believe it happened. Jack, why did you come here? I told you already. I figured you needed somebody. You and me, we've been through an awful lot, you know? Jack, you, uh, you haven't called me in months. Yeah, I'm sorry about that, but uh, business has really been booming lately. And uh, Eva, you know, she's not having You don't able... owe me an explanation. I just want you to know that I care. I think you came here because you need someone. This thing. Our beloved president's death. Phyllis, I heard. I heard real bad. I know. I tried to be good to you. I think you did, in your way. I guess it just wasn't enough. Listen, Jack, I, uh, I really do have to get back to work. Sure. I understand. See you later. Bye. Mr. Oswald, FBI agents, book out and hosty are going to ask you a few questions. If that's all right with you. Have you ever been in Mexico, Mr. Oswald? No. Only Tijuana when I was a kid. Are you a member of the Communist Party? I don't carry a card, never carried a card. Mr. Oswald, have you ever been in Russia? You know damn well I've been in Russia. I know who you are. You're the one who accosted my wife. He practically accosted my wife! What do you mean, accosted? Me, he wait for me to go to work, then he come around and bother with stupid questions. Am I allowed to get an attorney? Of course. Then I'd like to get a Mr. Apt. He's an attorney in New York. He defended the Smith Act people in 1949. And if I can't get him, I'd like to get someone from the American Civil Liberties Union. We can arrange for you to call whoever you want, whenever you like. Good, because I refuse to answer any more questions of these men until I can consult with my attorney. Are you sure he won't be able to see me? Yeah. Now, all you have to do is to tell us if you see the man who shot the policeman this afternoon, okay? Yes, sir. Number one, turn around. Number two, turn around. Number three, turn around. Number four, turn around. All right now, Ms. Markham, which one is it? The second man. <laughs> no. What about... 